Well, it's it's a weird thing for me because I I feel that my idea of punk is is really different, and I somehow feel that this idea of punk on the catwalk is almost a little bit cliched, and and I just find it sometimes a bizarre concept that people are celebrating this punk movement in their collection, but then actually those pieces are going to be like, you know, £2,000. And no kind of kid with any kind of punk spirit is going to be able to go out and buy those clothes. And I just find it all a bit odd. Mm. Um, and I think my perception of punk often comes more from the street or often comes from a slightly left field, you know, angle. Or I, I see something different in punk. And, and for me... I don't know, a straight up runway look is, I don't feel that it's very punk some, somehow. Mm. I, I don't know. Um, I think there are punk moments about things that I, I find almost more interesting. Mm. Um, I mean, I don't know if you remember that Battle show, I think it was spring, summer 2006. And it was the one where he had like Linda Evangelista, Stella Tennant and all these like, crazy big girls in London. And he had Sue Pollard front row and I was just dying for Sue Pollard. I was like, oh my God, she she just looks amazing. And then she got up and she was wolf whistling Linda Evangelista on the front row. And for me, she was the most punk thing about the whole thing. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So often for you, it's not about the fashion. It's not about presenting clothes that are sort of derivative of punk, like, you know, the Versace Vunk collection. It's more about the energy at the show and that could be anything from the music to someone as you say sitting on the front row I, I, I think so I mean I, I just find it when you think of punk sort of an aesthetic it's it's much more about a movement for me and you know I find people like you know Stephen Sprouse or or even somebody like Patricia Field and to a certain extent you know when Vivian first started and she had you know the sex shop and it just feels a bit more real because it's more accessible to people. Mm. Um, yeah. I find the idea of accessibility really interesting because you mentioned that right at the start as well when you said, you know, a runway collection, it can't be punkish because sort of kids can't afford it. So do you think there's always going to be this kind of, you know, fashion can never be, fashion cl or clothes can never be punk. It's only ever going to be the energy that can be punkish. Yeah, that's what I feel. I, I mean, for me, you look at, you look at the Met Ball that was like 16, hardly anybody understood what punk was. And you'd see people turning up in, like, pink ball gowns. I think it was Gwyneth Paltrow was wearing this really bland sort of ball gown. And she was like, well, to me, this is punk. It's like, you've never actually seen punk in your life. Mm. It's, and and I, I, it, I find it hard to, yeah, translate this idea, this concept of people sort of, pushing boundaries and, and, and moving away from being really mainstream when, you know, they're selling this idea to, to people that work in the city or in Wall Street because they're the only people that can really afford to, to buy into that. Mm. I find it interesting because Lisa Armstrong talked a little bit about this in the interview we did with her, where she said, you know, people are very respectful of punk and they take it very seriously. But she was like, you need to remember that, it, that punk itself was kind of a borrowed movement. You know, it ripped off other other collections and other fashions and do you find do you think it's important that people take punk seriously and say you know what it can't just be something that high fashion kind of commercializes or do you think we should do you think people it's okay for people to kind of not laugh at it but kind of play with it a bit or do you think punk should be more respected i guess that's what i'm asking i mean um i think there you know there is a level of respect for punk but then it comes down to that thing what is punk do you, th that's what sort of I find myself questioning because you know for me grunge is almost punk. you know grunge is I think the punk movement that we all sort of reference of the you know the late 70s early 80s that was just a reaction to something but it just so happened to be given the name punk but I find a lot of other movements you know particularly you know more recently like the grunge stuff and that is almost in spirit punky. Mm. And I just find it 
it, it's you know it's hard to define exactly what it is and you know, as I said earlier people like Patricia Field with her shop that's selling off and that shit crazy stuff I think that's really punk hmm. because you know you're not going to get somebody that's been you know dropping twelve thousand pounds in Chanel wanting to go in and wear that crazy stuff mm. I think it's the kind of attitude of the people that are going to you know just pushing things a bit further so does anyone in fashion today do any of the designers today have that attitude do you think oh uh, I mean I, th- I think a lot of people do but in in different respects um you know I think people a lot of people in fashion are really brave but I don't know how punk it is mm. Um, I mean, you know, people go on about Vivian being like, yeah, really punk, really punk. Well, it's not. It's a commercial business, and it's like she's been doing the same thing for years and years. And, you know, I think people like Nicolas Gasquier really push push things and, and make clothes that make you question, and you wouldn't, you know, you'd, you'd be looked at walking down the street. You know, people like, like Com, you know, people like Yoji that, that make these things that make people question fashion. And I think that's more punk than anything. I just wish, you know, they were more accessible to people. Mm. But ultimately, I think it's a, a state of mind. And I think, you know, punk's about people having fun and being different. And you don't really wild. need the clothes at all, do you? Not, not necessarily. I, I just think, you know, there'll always be these people and they'll just be given different names. You know, there was the club kids, the kind of punk in a way, you know. I think it's just all about these people that are willing to not necessarily rebel against mainstream fashion, but just, you know, want like something different. So is that the problem with sort of fashion at the moment? Nothing feels particularly particularly punk, I guess, because everything's derivative of the original movement. No one's doing anything that's sort of you know, particularly new. That new attitude you talk about, we don't see that as often anymore. It's very, very rare that something comes along and feels completely new. And I don't think there's anything wrong with referencing. I, you know, I just like things to be more fun <laughs> and <laughs> colourful. Um, but I mean, you know, it is really people like Stephen Sprouse and, you know, punk doesn't really have to be dark and it's like, I I like the, the the more fun side of punk and like a bit of colour and craziness. I don't know if you ever saw that interview. I think it was Russell Harty interviewed Vivian Westwood like way back. I think it was probably in the, in the 80s. Yeah, no, I have seen that. And, and like, I just thought the way that she was on there, like they were all just laughing at her and laughing at her clothes. And I just thought, I love you. You, you. you don't give a shit about this man, this this really average TV presenter. And, you know, you, you're really embracing these outfits and it's really, really brilliant that you are. And actually Janet Street Porter was amazing on that. She's the only one that turned around and was like, you yeah. know, this woman's amazing. It's like Craig Green, David Gandhi, but a long uh, time before. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. But that's a that's yeah, that's a whole other story. But I mean the the whole punk thing, you can just talk about it for ages and ages and ages, but I just think the ultimate question is, how do you define what punk is? Mm. And you can see by the Met Ball that people's definition of punk are so insanely different. Mm. I mean, what if you think about it? Madonna really got that punk thing at the Met Ball. Mm. I hated the outfit. I thought she she was too old for it. But at least she really embraced the theme. Mm. So is it that thing of, you know, like really embracing the theme, really getting into something, what you liked about Sue at Giles then? There's a real etiquette, isn't there, when you're at a big show and, you know, you sit down and you, you, you're well behaved. And for her just to not give a shit and start wolf whistling Linda, <laughs> I just thought it was the most genius thing I'd ever seen. <laughs> Everyone was like, oh, my God, Sue Pollard stood up on the front row whistling <laughs> <laughs> it was just too brilliant and for me that that's so punk you're gonna have to do that next season can you imagine